Hey guys, this is Big Bang John Yang. Again, I'm letting the uh, rose petals rain, right? I don't know, for some reason I'm really into uh, rose, so yeah, I just love it. So I'm just gonna perhaps, um, you know, let the uh, rose petals fall for the next few videos. Anyways, I'd like to make my prediction on the upcoming first four of the uh, NCAA basketball tournament, which uh, will be held on March 18th. So there will be four games, and I'd like to cover each one of them. So let's begin. So the first game uh, I'd like to talk about is a UCLA versus Michigan State. So according to the odds, uh, Michigan State is favored by two points and over under is 136. So again, as usual, let's check out my key performing indicators or KPIs. Uh, first, the, um, the uh, offense e efficiency. Again, uh, this is the number of uh, points scored divided by number of possessions times 100. Um, so let's go with UCLA. That's um, 105 points and for UCLA and for Michigan State that's 88 points. So here UCLA has an edge. Uh, defense efficiency for UCLA it's uh, 111.4 points Michigan State it's 99.9 .9. uh, for this one Michigan State has an edge because you want this number to be lower than your opponent meaning um, oh sorry what to tell you so for defense efficiency it's the number of scores uh, allowed uh, divided by number of possessions of your of your opponents so you want this number to be lower so um, like I said um, Michigan State has a lower number so Michigan State has an edge what about the combined efficiency this is offense efficiency sorry, offense efficiency minus defense efficiency and you want this number to be number one um, positive and number two, you want this number to be higher than your opponent. For UCLA, it's negative 6.4, meaning that UCLA is letting um, the opponent score more than they're actually scoring. And for Michigan State, uh, it is also negative 11.9. So um, UCLA is minus 6.4 versus Michigan State's minus 11.9. I think um, here um, UCLA is going to cover the spread of plus two um, because um, because of the uh, combined efficiency. You want this number to be um, lower than your opponent, and here UCLA has a lower number, which is minus six point four, as opposed to Michigan's minus eleven point nine. So you still is going to cover the spread of plus two. And for over and I think it's going to be over 136 points. I'm looking at the uh, office, uh, the offense efficiency. UCLA is 105, Michigan State's 88. So I think they should be able to cover or it's going to be over 136 points. So yeah, those are my calls. Again, UCLA plus two, it's going to be over uh, 136. Let's go to the next game. It's Drake versus Wichita State. So according to the odds, Wichita is favored by two points and over under is 139 points. So again, let's go to my KPIs. Um, offense efficiency for Drake, it's 103.6 points. Wichita, it's 100.6. 100 so here Drake has an edge. What about defense efficiency? Uh, for Drake it's uh, 111.0, Wichita it's 92.4. So 
So here Wichita has an edge. What about the combined efficiency? Again, it's offense efficiency minus defense efficiency. You want this number to be positive and bigger than your opponent. Drake, it's minus 7.4. Wichita, it's plus 8.2. So having said that, I think uh, Wichita State is going to cover the spread of um, minus 2 because um, the uh, combined efficiency is bigger than the uh, than the projected spread. And also for over under, I think it's going to be over 139 points because both teams, the offense efficiency is um, over 100 because you want this number to be um, to be over 100 and they both are. So it should be a high scoring game. So yeah, it's going to be over 139 points. So again, which the covers the spread of minus two, it's going to be over 139. The next game is Norfolk State versus Appalachian State. Uh, here, let's go to the odds. Uh, for this game, Appalachian State is um, favored by minus three. And over under is going to be 135.5 points. So again, let's go to the um, offense efficiency. For Norfolk is uh, 107.2 points. Appalachian is 96.7 points. So here, Norfolk has an edge. Uh, defense efficiency. Um, again, you want this number to be lower than your opponent. Uh, Norfolk State is 77.3. Appalachian is 91.0. So again, um, Norfolk has an edge. What about the combined efficiency? Again, it's offense efficiency minus defense efficiency. You want this number to be positive and bigger than your opponent? Norfolk is 29.9 uh, points and Appalachian is 5.7. So having said that, I think Norfolk is going to cover the spread of plus three. And for this game, I think it's going to be over 135.5 because again, both teams have an offense efficiency of, oh, uh, sorry, Norfolk's an, Norfolk has an, uh, has an offense efficiency of, of 107.2. Appalachian is 96.7, but still, given that Norfolk has a, a high offense efficiency, I think um, they should be able to um, score both uh, more than 135.5 points. The fourth game, it's Mount St. Mary's versus Texas Southern. Let's go to the odds. This game, Texas Southern is favored by minus 2.5. Over under is 132.5. Let's go to the office efficiency. Again, office efficiency is um, a number of, um, of uh, points scored uh, divided by number of possessions times 100, which that means is the, um, is the uh, number of points a team can score per 100 possessions, okay? I hope, I hope this is making sense to you guys, okay? So having said that, uh, Mount St. Mary's offense efficiency is 98.5. Texas Southern is 102.6. So here, Texas Southern has an edge. Again, you want this number to be higher than your, than your opponent. Defense efficiency, uh, Mount St. Mary's 90.1. Texas Southern is 83.5. You want this number to be lower than your opponent. Here, Texas Southern has an edge. What about combined efficiency? Offense efficiency minus defense efficiency. You want this number to be positive and higher than your opponent. I know I'm sounding like a broken record, but I just wanna make sure that you guys understand what I'm here talking about. Uh, for Mount St. Mary's, it's uh, plus 8.4. Texas Southern, it's plus 19.1. So having said that, because the combined efficiency for um, Texas Southern is much higher than the spread, I think Texas Southern is going to cover the spread of minus 2.5. As for over-under, I think it's going to be over 132.5 because Texas Southern has a high uh, office efficiency and also Mount St. Mary's office efficiency, I think is high enough so that both teams can score. Um, um, total more than 132.5 points.
point. So yeah, uh, those are my recommendations or my calls for the uh, first four. And um, yeah, I hope uh, you enjoyed my rose petals. Still raining. And it uh, should be an exciting day on March 18th. So I hope uh, you enjoyed the video. And if you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, bye.